Good morning, everyone. I was about to start putting makeup on with my glasses on. Wow, what a day. I am getting ready. I have a work meeting at 11.45 and it's already 11.20. We're just gonna be honest on camera that I'm running late and that is okay. It's a work meeting about a new menu that is launching. Like when you're a five star, you're considered Forbes five star. So there's like Forbes five star auditors that will come in. And so we get audited every year and there's a training to know what the standards for Forbes five star is. And so that is what today is happening. But anyway, so I've been to these meetings God, I've worked for this hotel like probably like six years now. So I've been to this meeting every year. It's like ingrained in my brain. I'm also kind of liking this no, no contacts grind. I went to the eye doctor and he's like, yeah, your eyes are actually overworn. Like, cause you're wearing your contacts all the time and they're, your eyes are not breathing. So he's like, give your eyes some chance to breathe. So wear your glasses. So I'm going to be wearing my glasses for a little bit, but it feels so weird. I'm not used to wearing my glasses like this. And then I'm doing my makeup right now and I can't see the mirror. Like I can't see i look like an ostrich like putting my head forward jesus otherwise today i'm not working i just have this meeting and then i have to film self-tape today oh i'm seeing a friend in the evening that i haven't seen in like literally so long and we've been trying to plan this forever and we just couldn't find the time today's a bit more of like a chill day i was asked to work today and i said no I need to give myself a rest and I also need to get stuff done. My Jesus, I am so late for this meeting. Oh my God, I really am gonna be in so much trouble because they're really serious about time and attendance for this meeting. Okay, honeys, love ya. I'll see you after the meeting. Hello honeys, I'm back from my work meeting, which by the way, I was late 15 minutes too. So, you know, walking in there was classic. I'm like, nobody look at me. I'm not 15 minutes late. I told them that I mixed up the times. I also blamed it on TTC. TTC was seven minutes late. It should have been there in four minutes, but they were seven minutes late. No, they're not. You're not late. They're too early. Ah. Babe, you're so good. But I'm gonna film my tape because it was due yesterday and I haven't had a chance to do it and I have to do it today. It's for my program. Like I said, this is now the last week that we're in. So I have this tape left and then one more. The one more is coming either today or tomorrow. It is, they personally wrote a scene for you that they feel is like your kind of character and they're gonna be sending it to us today or tomorrow. Um, and then that's the last thing that's due. So let's do this one. I have to sing. So y'all are gonna hear me sing. It's not like I do this all the time in my vlogs. No, but you, you, you have a beautiful voice. Babe. You're like really on a roll today. I'm gonna set up the ring light and I'm gonna film my phone because it's easier just to edit it after and then upload it. And then we're gonna go to my friend's house. I'm gonna get a couple of snacks and a little housewarming gift for her at the store. And I'm gonna meet her new dog and the new place that she moved in. And then that's kind of it for today. Also, can we talk about this crazy weather outside? Why is it snowing outside in March? I'm supposed to be taking off my winter tires in on Friday and I don't know if I should be doing that. Okay, let's get the ring light. I'm ready. Thought I found a way. Thought I found a way out. But you never go away. Honeys, I just made it to my friend's house. I actually don't know if I'm allowed to park in the parking lot, but we'll figure that out once I get upstairs. Look how cute this little flower I got her as a little housewarming gift. And then I got a little bit of treats. I got Harbite black sea salt with avocado oil. I got smart sweets. I got these gummy worm ones. And then these are Barbie themed. Hello, love this. And then because of her new puppy, I got the puppy a little toy. It's like a duck. It looks so cute. <gasps> I got breakfast in bed. I'm getting myself ready. I'm gonna go have lunch with an old friend of mine. She actually used to work in, I believe it's either Chorus Entertainment or like E1 Entertainment, one of those two. And I wanna talk to her about like, if she knows somebody that I can talk to there to get in for like production or like how do I get into the hosting part? 
So I'm taking her out for lunch because I want to chat with her to be like, how do I do this? Where do I go about it? Yada yada. Um, she chose the place that we're going. It's actually close by to where I, my hotel is, where I work. So that's convenient. And then today we're going to do a little bit of TikTok. I feel like I always keep saying I'm going to do TikTok and then I don't end up doing it. But today we're going to do it. Oh, I have to go over my scene because today I have my class and today we're doing a new scene. And I'm going to work on a little bit on my podcast today. Oh, I have YouTube comments to answer as well. So I'm going to answer those. And I have to do my Ukrainian homework, but what I'm thinking I'm going to do it in my class because sometimes I have a hard time watching like six consecutive scenes like I start to kind of get a little bit out of it we're gonna bring the business cards because you never know I'm gonna be like hey you want to take my business card you never know who you meet on the street honeys okay we're gonna wear my long coat I feel like that's such a vibe this is a look right yeah this is like nobody talked to me no but please do we're going on a business lunch wish me luck hopefully I make some connections and I come back with good news hello I'm home <laughs> So the meeting, not the, I wouldn't want to call a meet. The hangout went really well. I'm actually really happy that I did it and I met up with my friend. We exchanged business cards. So fun. See, I told you, you always want to bring your business card because you never know. She actually gave me a contact of someone that I should talk to about hosting because they do it. I'm excited to reach out to them and chat. We just talked about like if she ever has a spot in the PR firm that she kind of started herself for assisting and stuff like that. Because I did that with my production company that I worked for. Like I did the whole, you know, booking of plane tickets and hotels and cars and all that kind of stuff. So it's not new to me, but I'm just having some soup that my mom made. It's like a bean soup. It doesn't look amazing, but it tastes very amazing. So shout out to you, mom. Thank you. And I'm going to clean up because this place is a bit of a disaster. It is freezing outside. I don't understand what's going on. It also took me almost 35 to 40 minutes to get home. There's a medical emergency on Wellesley Station. And it was really scary. This gentleman was having a seizure and um, it was very intense. It's my third time seeing someone have a seizure. And honestly, when you see it, you kind of don't know what to do. Like you freeze, like you're like, so it was a lot and I, oh, oh my God, I just hit myself. I really felt for him. And anyways, it was just, it was, whoa. I'm also gonna quickly go over my scene right now because I'm meeting my scene partner at 5.30 to rehearse. So I'm gonna finish my soup, clean up, rehearse, pack my lunch, go to class. That's the plan. What in the world is going on right now? I am so confused by this weather. Okay, we just got to class. I keep saying how I'm gonna do my TikTok video and I feel like I keep putting it off and I don't understand why I do. But I have noticed and I thought about it in the card that I feel a little bit creatively not driven and dead in my TikTok area. And I wanna understand why. Obviously, like I love doing the videos where I'm like obviously being informative, but I think I wanna get into more of the entertainment videos of TikTok. And I think I'm nervous to do them. I'm like embarrassed to do them, to be honest. I just, I just get like really like, judgy about myself being like you're not funny who the hell is gonna watch this so i'm just kind of working through that okay 5 40 i gotta go because my scene partner is waiting for me we gotta rehearse and kill it today ah there we go and we're in <laughs> class is over and it was amazing Good morning, y'all. It is 10.02 and my Ukrainian lesson is starting now. And I'm doing it in bed, which is such a cozy feeling. We're having protein shakes and a croissant for breakfast. Just in case if Mike watching this, croissant is for Anna. AKA Mike is Makita's personal trainer. <laughs> Okay, good morning again, honeys. My Ukrainian lesson is done. I had to learn the hardest thing in the Ukrainian language. Do you think I passed? No, apparently. I've been saying it wrong in Russian as well. I'm having a very humbling experience right now. I'm gonna be dead honest. Class yesterday was, was interesting. My scene that I was doing, to be honest, it's short, it's only two pages. And I was kind of at first being like, why do I only have a scene with two pages? But it felt nice because I felt like it is a short scene so I don't have a lot of time to get into it. Like you just have to show up, get into it, do your thing and leave. So it was good practice. So it ended up actually going really well. The energy in class yesterday was like weird. Me and my friend Alex that I drive home with, we like talked about it. Like energy was kind of off in the class yesterday. We couldn't really understand what was going on, but next week will be awesome and fun. Oh, also honey, 
there was an agent showcase for artist to artist and they said the top 102 contestants will get to meet with an agent to like whether you have an agent or not it doesn't matter it's just good they could talk to you about your stuff so i did it i didn't even make it to the top 102 i was so embarrassed i'm not gonna lie i'm embarrassed saying this on my channel there's gonna be times like for example the last showcase that i did i made it to the top 20 and there's gonna be times where take it as these are casting directors they didn't like your work they didn't see the character the way you saw the character and there's nothing wrong with it does it mean that you're a bad actor no does it mean that you did the tape wrong no you saw it one way they didn't agree with it and that's that i'm not gonna lie opening this up right before the start of class was not a good idea it made me feel like shit and i had to text makita and text my mom and maybe go in the bathroom and cry a little bit but then i was okay after okay i don't know if you can see right in that corner it is bare we had to move everything because i makita and i were pretty sure that our air duct is clogged and we need to fix that so i have these guys coming in and basically they have to like cut open like a hole in the wall slash ceiling check that air duct see if it's clogged if it is they're gonna take the stuff out and then they're gonna like patch it up they were supposed to be here for two o'clock and it's 2 23 and they're still not here but that's okay that's fine it's not a big deal i'm just gonna right now tomorrow my video is posting i'm gonna do my thumbnail and write out really quick I actually have a voiceover tape that I got, which funny, I did, it's a little TV show for like kids and they wanted me to audition for another character. And this was like, let's say about a month ago, I did it. And I think they liked my work because they called me back for another character to do a self tape. Anyways, okay, let's work on this thumbnail. Everything's done, honeys. Fun fact, so apparently condos, depending on the building, they're supposed to clean up the air duct system every two years or one year, depends on the condo. I'm pretty sure this building is supposed to do it every two years. I've been here since 2019 and they have never done it. And the guys who were cleaning it today, they're like, you know, you're supposed to be writing to your property manager because um, that could be a lawsuit because it's obviously it's a fire hazard. The, the like duct thing, was so clogged it is disgusting and i don't think it's been cleaned out in like the 30 years that this building has been up so looks like i need to be dealing with a little bit of a situation here in my condo and i'm like great another thing i have to deal with but seriously this is actually kind of scary the fact that no one comes and clean this cleans this if it wasn't for my dad being like whenever we turned on the dryer the air would come back into the bathroom and it's like hot air and you could smell the dryer and I was like, no, I didn't realize that. I thought, like, I didn't, it's not something I think about it. And he's like, yeah, I think your air duct is clogged. He's like, when's the last time they came and cleaned it? And I'm like, they? Who's they? And he's like, the building? I'm like, no, dad, the building actually never does anything. So um, there's that. But anyways, so now I have to clean that corner. I have to put everything back. I have to move all of our furniture. Let's clean this up and put this all back to normal. And then we'll do the self-tape. that tiktok is done um i'm not gonna post it because i'm actually gonna try doing it with natural light tomorrow and see how that works instead i wanted to kind of do like a weird kind of color but i'm starting to realize i'm like not obsessed with it so i'm gonna try it again tomorrow but that's fine at least i have an idea of what i'm doing i just got the schedule for next week for my job and i got scheduled no shifts again week two I am able to pick up shifts, which is great, but being scheduled no shifts sucks and is really scary. This totally ruined my night and my mood, so there's that. I finished my voiceover. I was kind of editing a little bit, and then I saw the schedule, and getting scheduled no shifts sucks. 
So it kind of just put me out of it and I haven't finished editing it. I'm gonna finish the rest of it tomorrow. It's not due tomorrow until 4 p.m. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I love you, honeys. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. We are here at Toyota. We're getting, thank you. Our winter tire change. I'm just gonna say that I'm grumpy. I already snapped a Mikita, right, honey? I can feel it, yes. We got Tim Horns. I haven't had a Tim Horns breakfast in so long. This actually sausage egg wrap is pretty good. I'm into it. How's your potato wedges? Actually really good, I like it. I don't know why a lot of people don't like it. It's not bad. We are home at my parents. Oh, I'm really struggling today. Struggling for a few reasons. One, waking up at 8 a.m. when I went to bed at like 2, 2.30, not a fun time, so that's one. To be honest, I went to bed late because I'm not, I can't fall asleep at like 12. I work till two in the morning, so my body's like sleep clock is in a different time zone. So this is where I really struggle with where like, I wanna wake up early. I'm more of a morning person. I don't like staying up late, but I can't because then if I do that, then I'm not gonna be able to be like functioning for my job. Reason two is the reason why I'm struggling today is honestly because of my job. Like I don't wanna go full time because that means I have to work five shifts and I can't kind of like have my freedom and like switch around shifts and give up shifts as much as I want to or can. And I can't like take time off. And that's where I get scared where I'm like, yeah, but what if I need it for my other stuff that I do? But then at the same time, like things are not cheap. Like bills are adding up. And when I don't work for a week or two weeks, like it may not seem a long time, but it is a long time. Like things do add up. So I'm also pissed about that. So that's another thing we're gonna add onto the list today. I'm gonna get Mikita to help me film my TikTok video that I was doing yesterday. I wanna try it today with the natural light. I think it's gonna work better. And honestly, I think it's gonna work better with someone else like guiding the phone around. Two, I submitted my self tape, uh, fingers crossed. This could be a fun one to book, so that's done. I've saved about 20 jobs that I would apply for and this ranges from like content creating, personal assistant, YouTube host, serving, like all of it. So we're gonna apply to those jobs. Something else on my list, probably honestly a nap. I might need a nap. pisses me off the most about this whole job thing. So some of these jobs, you have to go on like a different website. And when you click on the website, the only way to apply to these jobs, if you pay a subscription for the website, I'm like, why would I go and pay a subscription per month to apply to a job? Like, why? Like, why, why can't we just put it, put it on Indeed? It's free. Or put it on LinkedIn, it's free. Like one, one of these jobs is so good. It's a YouTube host for like a massive channel that has like 2.23 followers. And I need to literally pay a $200 subscription per month in order to apply to this job. No, thank you. But besides <laughs> the point, I went and gave my car tires a change and it is snowing like crazy. Like. Hello. I went and changed my car tires for literally no reason. I'm actually gonna go for a walk with my dad and my fiance. Fun fact, so I went and applied, I told you about this, the showcase, the artist to artist showcase that I did and I didn't even get to the top 100 when it was the panel of agents, which was like the recent one. A Vancouver agent that was part of that panel just followed me on Instagram. And at first when I saw it, I was like, who's this verified guy following me? And I looked at the name and I was like, oh, this name sounds familiar. I'm like, I've seen it before. And when I opened it, I was like, oh my God. I'm like, it's that Vancouver agent that was on the panel. I guess maybe he saw my work or something on the showcase, but I'm like confused. Cause I'm like, I didn't get into the top 100, but then like, maybe I did, or maybe he like went past the 100 and like saw the work. I don't know. So I was like, hello. Anyways, stay tuned on what happens on part two in that. Honeys, I'm out of here. I'm exhausted. We're going to bed. This is the end of the vlog. Tomorrow, we're driving back to Toronto for my parents' house. And guess what? I got my I got one shift, and I'm going to be working that tomorrow. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful Friday. We're in this together. We're going to get through this. I cried. You cried. It's going to be amazing. Okay. See you all next Friday. Bye, honeys. Bye.